The ES6 template string provides another method to combine strings and expressions. The standard method we have used in the past uses the concatenation operators. Now the template string may not replace every occurrence, but I think you'll find some situations where the template string has advantages. So first, let me show you the difference between the traditional method of using the concatenation operators and the template string. I'm going to open up the console and first off and first off I'll create a simple variable name and set it equal to Tyson. Now let's do a console log statement and this will use the traditional method. We'll take a string hi there and then concatenate that with the variable name and then concatenate that to another string and that gets logged to the console. Hi there Tyson. Now how would we accomplish the exact same thing with ES6 template strings? Well, this is how it's done. Console log, we'll do the same thing with console log statement. Now, to begin your template string, you use a back tick. Now, that is the character that is normally found directly under the tilde on the keyboard. It looks like that. That begins the template string. Now, everything inside the template string string is enclosed in a pair of back ticks. So I'm going to do another one. Now I'll move my cursor back so I'm in between those two and then I will simply start entering the string data and will include the variable as well. So hi there space. Now the way you include a variable or an expression is using the dollar sign and then curly braces. Everything inside the curly braces will evaluate immediately as an expression and return the value. So in this case, we're, we will just use a variable. And now we put exclamation point at the end. And then finally at the very end, the close print and the semicolon. So what you can see is the difference here is we don't have to deal with a bunch of quotes. If you're concatenating a number of strings with other expressions, it will require a bunch of quotes and a bunch of concatenation operators. We're able to eliminate those. We still have to use the dollar sign and curly braces for any JavaScript expression that we want to include. That is still necessary, but there are situations where the template string can be much more friendly. So let me go ahead and press return. And we get the same results. Now I'm going to do a couple additional examples, but before I do that, let's just summarize some of these concepts associated with template strings. First, it's identified by the use of the back tick. Now remember I mentioned that that is the character directly underneath the tilde character, which is usually in the upper left-hand corner of the keyboard. Inside of that set of backticks, you can include an expression. And you do that using the dollar sign and then the curly braces. Now that expression will evaluate immediately. And any expression is valid. So it's kind of like putting an expression inside of parentheses, forcing it to evaluate before you continue on with other parts. So those are the main concepts with the ES6 template string. Now let's do a couple of additional examples. This next example, I'm going to use more of an expression in instead of simply a variable. So in order to do that, I first need to create a function. And let me paste that code in. This is simply a function that will determine the number of days that I've passed since a date that is passed in and the current date. 
So very similar type of exercise as we did in the previous video which we released last week and is available on our channel if you would like to view that. Basically, we have a start date, which is the date that's passed in. We have the current date, today's date. And then we divide, after subtracting the start date from the current date, we divide it by this number. So that entire number is the entire thing that we divide the total number milliseconds by. And then we use math.floor so that we're not showing a portion of a date. We're only showing the number of days that have passed. Okay, so we have that function. And I want to use that function as a part of a template string. So I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to set it equal to backtick. And then inside the backtick, a total of now we will use the dollar sign with the curly braces. And inside the curly braces, we're going to call our day span function. And we will pass into it a string. And the string is the date, is the start date that we want to use for determining the number of days that have passed. And we're and I'm going to use the start of the year. So we're passing that into the function and then that will return the number of days. And then we can simply continue on with our string. And then we'll end that statement with a semicolon. Finally, let's just log that to the console and see what we get. So I'm going to save that. And now I will refresh this page, open the console. And a total of 313 days have passed since the start of this year. So that was an example of a more complex expression that's embedded within a template string. Now, in the examples we've been showing, I've only included one expression. You can do as many expressions as you want as you're building this template string. Each time you have an expression, you just need to make sure you enclose it with dollar sign and then curly braces. Now, another advantage of the ES6 template string is it's ideal for placing content on multiple lines. So let me just illustrate that really quick. Jump back to Sublime. I'm going to remove what we did there. And I'm going to declare a bunch of variables, very simple variables, simply first name, last name, a street, a city, state, and zip. Th these just give me some variables to illustrate how template strings allow us to do things on multiple lines. Now let's go ahead and put together our template string. So I'm going to assign it to an address again. Set that equal to and then I'll do my back tick. First I'll do a string the address is as follows. Now I'm going to press return and I'm even going to tab in and now I will put my first expression. A space and then my next expression. In all these cases they're just variables is what I'm including. As we saw in the previous example, it could be more than that if we wanted to. And I'm doing each of these on separate lines. Oops. Make sure I get the curly brace there. I'm going to put a comma, then a space. Now we'll do the state. 
Now, just to, to show what's possible inside of this expression, I can use the traditional method of concatenating strings inside of this expression. And there I'm done with my template string. Now let's just log it to the console so we can see how it prints out. Go ahead and save that. Jump out again and I'll refresh the page. Now notice how it retains the fact that I had placed things on separate lines. And it displays it that way within the console. The address is as follows, and then we display the address. So that's an advantage of template strings is you can separate the template string onto separate lines. That, that can help make your code more readable in certain situations. You might find other advantages to it. I hope you found that helpful. If so, like the video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel. We have videos each week. And for additional resources, you can visit our website at allthingsjavascript.com.